Steve Crump, a broadcaster and filmmaker. He has won many awards in more than 35 years at WBTV in Charlotte, where he is known as the conscience of the newsroom and is a mentor to other reporters and managed to do a number of projects for KET. He has produced more than 20 documentaries, several with national PBS distribution. He explored the black experience in the South with largely self-funded documentaries, such as the award-winning Forgotten at the Finish Line about black jockeys which won a 2002 Eclipse Award. The National Association of Black Journalists named him Reporter of the Year in medium-sized markets, and he won an Edward R. Murrow Award from the Radio and Television Digital News Association for a project he managed for the NPR station in Charlotte connected to social capital. A native of Louisville's Smoketown neighborhood, he graduated Eastern Kentucky University in 1980 and worked for Lexington's WKYT and several other news stations around the country before joining WBTV. He has also won several regional Emmy Awards and served as a freelance correspondent for Black Entertainment Television. Hi, I'm Steve Crump from WBTV in Charlotte. First, let me thank you guys back home in Kentucky for giving me such a prestigious and amazing award. It is a moment of humility, a moment of reflection, a moment of personal pride. Also, I want to thank God for getting me through the last two years that I've had to fight cancer. Also, my supportive family and my lovely wife, Kathy. Over the next few moments, so many people will thank and not enough time to do it in. For me, my journey as a broadcast journalist would begin in 1976 at Eastern Kentucky University. I was on the air at the university station, 88.9 WEKUFM. That would lead to a number of jobs at stations across Kentucky and ending up in Richmond, Kentucky at 1340 WEKY before graduation in 1980. Television would come right after graduation in Savannah, Georgia, where I would end up covering the Ku Klux Klan and traveling to a number of markets around the country, including Orlando, Detroit, and yes, Lexington, Kentucky. While I spent more than 30 years at Charlotte's WBTV, WKYT TV in Lexington, Kentucky has provided a springboard of opportunities for growth as well as development in my career. It is where I would work for Hall of Fame members Ralph Gabbard and Ken Kurtz. Truth be told, there would be other members of the Hall of Fame that I would gain knowledge from as an intern at Louisville's WHAS. Individuals such as the legendary Kaywood Ledford, Van Vance, Jeffrey Marks, Byron Crawford, and Mike Edgerly, to name just a few. I would be remiss if I didn't mention the number of African-American journalists who helped me along the way, several of them who are members of this esteemed group in our Hall of Fame. William E. Summers, the owner of Louisville's WLOU, who gave me my first paying job at a commercial station in Louisville. Merv Albusman of The Courier Journal, who provided a constant source of inspiration. He would later become the president of the National Association of Black Journalists. Angelo Henderson, the Pulitzer Prize winning writer who left us too soon, who I got to meet when he was a student at the University of Kentucky. And of course, my lifelong friend, childhood babysitter, Smoketown sister from back home, Monica Coffin Pearson, who started at WHAS and would later make a name for herself at Atlanta's WSB. And of course, the former slave from Bardstown, who started a successful Catholic newspaper by the name of Daniel A. Rudd. I am always 
a phone call away and very eager to get home to work on a project or help out our sister station, Wave 3 in Louisville. There have been a number of amazing datelines in my career, from Somalia to Sudan and other parts of Africa. And it's been amazing to demonstrate the possible and to have destinations from Selma and the White House and to meet many of the leaders who would make a difference in our society along the way. Even though I'm many miles away, I'm still one of you in heart and in spirit. Kentucky born, Louisville bred, Smoketown raised, a proud student who attended both Flange and Trinity High Schools, and a graduate of Eastern Kentucky University. I go back to that Saturday, the day of our commencement in May of 1980, and it was our former governor, John Y. Brown, who gave the address that day. And rather than so many of the statements that he made that I actually remember, there is one thing perhaps that stuck with me. And Governor Brown told us graduates, wherever you go in life, always be a goodwill ambassador for the Commonwealth of Kentucky. And that, my friends, I've tried to do. Once again, Thank you for this amazing award. Thank you to members of the judging committee. And thank you, Hall of Fame.